Organs on a chip are basically microfabricated devices that make it possible to grow human cells in physiological conditions and environment to mimic the essential elements of human tissues and organs. During my postdoctoral training at Harvard, I actually led a project where we developed a, a micro-engineered device that allowed us to culture human lung cells to mimic tiny air sacs and surrounding blood capillaries in the human lung. And we published this paper in Science, and they basically provided a proof of concept demonstration of this organ on a chip technology, which basically kickstarted the whole field of organs on chips. Vividine's primary effort is to create a preclinical drug development pipeline that starts and ends in human tissues and that's automated completely end to end. And so what we offer is high throughput, very complex models of human organ tissues, full uh, robotic automation that spans the entire process of establishing, imaging, dosing, uh, and endpoints in these tissues, and then subsequent data analysis with our rich machine learning and AI pipelines. Much of our work has focused on taking organ chip technology beyond mimicking the lung to develop microengineered models of uh, other similarly complex or even more complex organs and physiological systems. Blinking eye on a chip is one of these systems that allows us to mimic the front clear window of the eye called the ocular surface. We've also developed a placenta on a chip that allows us to mimic that interface between uh, maternal and fetal blood in the placenta. Another uh, main research direction we've been exploring to develop micro-engineered models of complex human diseases. We have developed a cancer on a chip uh, to reconstruct vascularized solid tumors and their complex microenvironment. We're currently using the system to study how engineered immune cells interact with cancer cells and the tumor microenvironment. In my opinion, the HER lab brings together advances in tissue engineering as well as device technology. Uh, but the fact that they're able to combine them together to actually impact human function is something that amazes me. We are able to do things that we never thought was possible. I approached uh, Dan Ha and his laboratory because we wanted to have a way of studying human islets outside of the body. It's traditionally been very difficult to study islets outside of the body and uh, we wanted to do so in a physiological environment where there were blood vessels and other cell types that are normally present uh, inside the pancreas and uh, his technique uh, gave us a way to do that. So one of the main reasons why people are interested and excited about this organ chip technology is because it allows us to mimic complex physiological and pathophysiological processes happening in the human body in man-made engineered devices. But the flip side is mimicking complex things requires complex models and this necessary and also beneficial complexity of these model systems is also what makes it really challenging to translate uh, these model systems into practical tools uh, for academic and industrial applications. Where the, the novelness and the, the disruptive nature comes in is the ability to do this at high throughput and to really generate vast amounts of data uh, which can uh, lead to better screening, uh, better uh, technologies for uh, utilizing things like artificial intelligence uh, and machine learning which are uh, you know data hungry technologies and to then develop better and newer uh, drugs for patients. The vision of Vivodyne is to enable pharmaceutical companies to move their drug discovery and drug development processes from the 20th century to the 21st century. Now we have technologies like Vivodynes that will allow now pharmaceutical companies to identify and develop drugs that truly work in humans. Nine out of 10 of our uh, drugs that we think work in animals, in our preclinical testing, fail in testing in humans, in clinical testing. I think one thing is very clear, that we need to end the testing on animals because it's unethical and ineffective. And if we're going to end animal testing, well, clearly we need to test new drugs and we need to find an alternative and a better method for testing those drugs. As I understand from my long talks and reading all the information, Vivodyne has the promise to do exactly that. And so not only will it be the right thing to do ethically, it'll also make much more economic sense.
Vimadine's really excited about the future. I think every scientist has that moment where they look at the whiteboard and they think, God, I wish I could test this, but I just can't. I don't have the time, I don't have the equipment. And with the Vivadine automated system, you can test very complex things at a very large scale, and we think you can finally get to the point of saying, let's just test everything. I firmly believe that new technologies we're developing at Vivadine will be a game changer for the future of organ chip technology and also really help us realize the full potential of this technology to change and innovate the way we model, understand, and experiment with the complexity of the human body. And I believe that this will have a major impact on our you know, ongoing and future endeavors to tackle the challenges of modern medicine.